Ezra chapter 1. In the first year of King Cyrus of Persia, the Lord fulfilled Jeremiah's prophecy by stirring the heart of Cyrus to put this proclamation into writing and to send it throughout his kingdom. This is what King Cyrus of Persia says, The Lord the God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has appointed me to build him a temple at Jerusalem in the land of Judah. All of you who are his people may return to Jerusalem in Judah to rebuild this temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives in Jerusalem. And may your God be with you. Those who live in any place where Jewish survivors are found should contribute toward their expenses by supplying them with silver and gold, supplies for the journey, and livestock, as well as a free will offering for the temple of God in Jerusalem. Then God stirred the hearts of the priests and Levites and the leaders of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin to return to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple of the Lord. And all their neighbors assisted by giving them vessels of silver and gold, supplies for the journey, and livestock. They gave them many choice gifts in addition to all the free will offerings. King Cyrus himself brought out the valuable items which King Nebuchadnezzar had taken from the Lord's temple in Jerusalem and had placed in the temple of his own gods. Cyrus directed Mithridath, the treasurer of Persia, to count these items and present them to Sheshbazar, the leader of the exiles returning to Judah. These were the items Cyrus donated. Gold trays, 30. Silver trays, 1,000. Silver censers, 29. Gold bowls, 30. Silver bowls, 410. Other items, 1,000. In all, 5,400 gold and silver items were turned over to Sheshbazar to take back to Jerusalem when the exiles returned there from Babylon.